I mean, R. Kelly been telling us his crazy shit forever. But that's what, isn't that, that's, they say that's what, like, psychopaths do? They, like, they actually, like, in in some weird way, they kind of, like, show you what they're doing and they talk about it, but people think that it's so ridiculous that they that's, don't believe them. Well, okay, so we got to go to Conspiracy Corner for, uh, for Kevin Hart's new shit, but we'll get to that, but... Nigga, you, you're not, Somebody you, just said that to me yesterday. Yeah. They was like, "You think this shit is true?" I'm you're like, not just no, gonna, okay. you're not just gonna tell me you caught a body and act like I didn't see it, my nigga. <laughs> I know it's other. You snuck <laughs> other shit in there, but you, you told me you caught a body and you put it in a, as a movie, and then niggas just let it rock. Mm. So, <laughs> I'm going to guess you got a body. Hey, easy Lex, one too. That one, that one's off. God damn. Somebody just said that to me yesterday because I was asking. I watched the first, I think, four episodes on that, and one of my friends, she was like, uh, oh, by the way, <laughs> side note, <laughs> I'm tired of y'all. Remember how I told y'all before, I was like, y'all, don't be having bitches in my DMs about y'all. <laughs> so, yeah. last night, I was like, this girl I met out here, we, like, went to go, we were just, like, outside doing random shit, and <laughs> she was like, I said something about the pod. She was like, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, you know, I watched an episode or two, and who is these niggas? And I was like, <laughs> who is these niggas? It's crazy. I'm so tired of these bitches. <laughs> Truth be told, we just out here giving tabernacle, that's all. <laughs> it was like, you know, they look kind of, I was like, all right, y'all. Like if, if if we ever have to do a show in Dallas, just know. Uh, can you? I, matter, matter, I would talk off air. People be listening. <laughs> People be listening. <laughs> People be listening and shit. Are we recording already? Well, yeah, I, that's I the that's the fucked up part. We we've okay. been rolling for a minute, so our whole threesome talk is we're gonna have to have a, 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 a vote <laughs> see if we leaving that in this week. Cause, uh... <laughs> no. I <told> <laughs> All right, so that, that's a that, no. That, that's that's a, that's a quarter. That, that's a, yeah, right, that's right, a right, right, right. Yeah. Lex. <laughs> oh man. I didn't think we was recording. This, mu- this, mu- this motherfucker rolling, Shotty. <laughs> I told y'all about y'all toxic ass votes last week. I don't, I don't want none of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, let's see, let's see what let's see what it feel like. It's the Meet the Brave podcast. I am Monty Draper. I am LG. Lex B U B, I'm B. And welcome, hey. welcome, welcome, welcome back, <laughs> family. Miss y'all. Shout out to our YouTube viewership. Lex hit me on some like, hey, bro, when we get these many subscribers, so I was like, I don't know. Something's working clearly. Um, our our video viewage is is still low. That's some algorithm shit. Google's not fucking with us. Um, been trying to crack the code. I will say. Salute to Google and their customer service, though. Like, out of all the big-ass corporations like that, you can actually get somebody on the phone um, that's not being transferred to India or some shit like that. So, shout-out to Google for fucking with, fucking with us and trying to figure out what this bullshit is so we can break through and land on a lot more pages. Um, but what I will say is, you know, I am I consume. So, you, you want to check the other pages and see what niggas is doing. And the numbers that niggas is doing are cute. However, um, cute pie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ask some niggas to do a live show now and see how many people they can put in the room. No shade. Mm. So, um, wow. shout out, shout out to our Apple, our Apple Podcast listeners, our Spotify Podcast <laughs> listeners, our Simplecast, Castbox FM, Stitcher, uh, wherever you can listen to the audio version. At if for those who don't know and are new to the show, every Monday at uh, 7 a.m. East Coast time. You can listen to the audio format of the pod, and then Friday morning you can catch the video on our YouTube page, YouTube backslash, backslash Monty Draper. And it's gang in here, man. What's what's up with family? Can we can we check in before we get to the shits? Because B just been coming on, going straight to the shits, and so we check in uh. after we didn't got to the shits, <laughs> and so it's like. Now niggas is vulnerable and shit because we didn't check in and said some many shit. So uh, let's check in on the front end. Uh, how niggas doing? Great. I'm not very good right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you you going to tap out on wellness? Like everything I said is... 
I wasn't in the right state of mind. <laughs> You know clear, I'm clear, clearly, I'm not, uh, I'm not, in, I'm not uh, feeling my my best right now. I didn't, I didn't have no meditation this morning. That's fun. See, that's, see how that's niggas that's do. The angle. That's the angle. <laughs> niggas be trying to play safe on the pod. That's hey, crazy. Angle it. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> hey, that was really hurt. Right? No, that's for real. That was real, that was real hurt. <laughs> Like how how I'm gonna how I'm gonna spin this one? <laughs> yeah, my mind's ticking. Um, I'm good. I'm I'm a little tired. Um, I had a very productive week, so that that was that was good. But it also kind of drained me. Um, I had a I had a workout goal, so that was like nice. You might you might uh, sharing it. Oh, I just wanted to pull off like five five days a week. That's what's up, okay. B finally did that's what's up how, how you feeling um i'm Hi. well let me ask i i don't know i per I, I i'm quick to personalize some shit but i even listen to like joe rogan and how he talks about and and reading david goggins book and um, even parts of gucci's book when he's speaking specifically um about the physical part of it and what it unlocks mentally uh shout out to n8 too he, he pulled up on you watch he pulled up on lex and watched the fights but Nate's one of the people I've heard describe it the best in terms of what it does for your mental um, and being able to formulate plans, visions, and goals and shit like that. It's that there's a there's a mental health aspect of of physical activity. Is that is that been, has that been your experience to be? Oh yeah, that that's kind of how I like have to attack it. Like I I can't. I don't have the personality to attack it as like, I just want to be cute and have a, a small waist and a fat ass. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't care enough. <laughs> like, I really don't. But... She hella funny. <laughs> 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 like, I'm, I'm not saying that's bad. I just, I just know I can't motivate myself consistently to make it a lifestyle with that like angle. Hmm. So I have to like come around a different way. And for me, it's the mind. I'm like, I really give a fuck about how my mind operates. So, so, so. you're not trying to sell no waist trainers, what you're saying? Good God! What? No. Oh. <laughs> no, she tried. She tried to sell us the uh, the leggings she sent us. See, see, usually it's my partner sending me uh, sending me IG models and thoughts ah, and shit. Got it. My 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 toxic male partners, but my toxic female partner sending me the hoes. Mm. Team look glanced at my phone. So what the fuck you looking at? I said, hey, your man sent this. Hey, 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 hey. The See, ha- I don't want no problem. The hay is no the hay is to simply collect your thoughts. Did the you hay- say hey and throw the phone? Yeah, the hay- <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this? The hay is the simply bro. The a- the the hay with the toss is different, yo. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, y'all, because y'all y'all already got me in trouble. I'm not about to get fucked up out here. I'm, we are not going any further until I wish my baby a happy birthday. God damn it. Okay, uh, okay, team. yeah, teen. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, teen. And it, but. It's bittersweet because that's my nig and it's her birthday, but she took her little fast ass to New York with her and her fast ass partners, mm. her mom and her sister. Calling somebody mama fast is crazy, <laughs> but I'm just going to put it out there. She out there with her little friends living her best life. She got uh. me fucked up. It ain't going to say, wait, late, last minute. Oh, by the way, I'm going to New York. You got, who you talking uh. to? <laughs> that's not how this works. By the way. You kidding me? Fuck up, T. Hey, <laughs> only the woman can get away with the by the way. By the way. By, by, by the way. This is where I'll be By the way, I'll be in. New York for my birthday. You got me so man. Listen here, no, they have they're having a blast. Uh, uh, she she called yesterday and was pretty upset with one of y'all. Whoever is running to meet the Brave Podcast Instagram got my baby fucked up. I think it was Lex. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Come again? Go say, oh man, you in New York? We was gonna have you on the show. This <laughs> <time."> <laughs> She's so hot. She gonna say it was either you or Lex because B would do me like that. I said, wait a minute. What? Uh. And then and no, but then gonna say L don't have one. I said, why? How you know it ain't L burner account? <laughs> then she gonna say B. She said B wouldn't do me like that. First of all, so it was either I you or not. Lex. And I was like, wait a minute. How you gonna rule B out? She is the one that would do it. Mm. So, Whoa. Mm. Whoa. So it's either Brittany or Lex that did it. Is what I'm saying. Somehow there there's still no bell for me. It's it's just it, it's Lex or somebody. <laughs> All I'm saying is I don't understand why people think L wouldn't 
D- be able and capable of Thank it. you. This Who? nigga fully Kevin Durant over here with a burner account. <laughs> and ain't nobody going to say nothing. That's, that's, that's how the, that's how this thing works, bro. Like, <laughs> hey, that ain't got no paper trail. <laughs> Always have an alibi is what my dad told me. Hey, Man, you know? den- deny it till you die is what I my uncle no, told me. I have me. no digital I don't footprint. know what he meant when he said that, nigga. But ever since, I've been like, nope, <laughs> nope. <laughs> full, on, on full CCTV talking about that ain't me. <laughs> Nigga, wait a minute. Hold on, Monty. You got to stop. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Um, you got you a Sagittarius? Man. Them Sagittarius, yo. The best kind. Hey, do you, so, hey, you, you do all that astrology shit be? Um, enough, but also I am a Sagittarius. That's why I give a fuck. But okay. Okay. So, apparently. <laughs> what you want Them Sagittarius, yo. Appar- apparently for, for Gemini's, that's, it's the, it's. The, the the big front part of it is a little tumultuous, but if y'all can get through that, that's supposed to be like some life partner shit, apparently, from what I was told. Yeah, y'all are our, like, six-month opposite, and so there's, like, an alignment there. Yeah. But it is, uh... Oh, you just, you just dabble in it, hubby. <laughs> <laughs> El out of pocket. <laughs> Fuck you, El. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I know some things. Yeah, you, you know just gonna drop the full blown knowledge right, right here. Talk about she's trying to kick you know. knowledge. <laughs> she kicked that shit but like she created I, it. I, our thing is, um, like, uh, y'all like to debate, and um, we we won't back down from it. Right. But the problem is, um. Sometimes we're a bit blunt, so we right. that debate might turn into a little bit of, of feelings that get. But it, but it's it's Gemini's the, be low key and they feel it. No, it's the it's the it's the best possible scenario, right? So I that's I'm so B, you my nig, but you be really you really have done something to me on this show where I'd be showing saying and saying certain shit I wouldn't because my niggas is around, <laughs> but now you be just picking at me. I don't fuck. So on the way here, <laughs> just be picking on it. On the way here, I'm trying to figure out like there, there's a there's a million things, but the 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 illest thing about teen. Is that part exactly? I really, I fuck it. I be be it, like Gemini, creative, all it, all this shit. There's hella shit that just lend to like, all right, bro, you and your feelings. Hurt this nigga from the jump. Be like, I don't care, <laughs> but but not. I don't care about your feelings, nigga. I don't care if you if you mad right now. I'm not going nowhere. So what right. what what we doing? So you yeah. might as well get over it. What are you? What the fuck are you and your like? Get over that shit. And it's a it's a it's a practical approach that sometimes while Gemini's get credit for being mad practical when the emotions is there all that practicality should go out the way. And that was one of the coldest yeah. Toby uh, Toby lines, and he was like, "His girl, uh, he he told her that she wasn't the one, and she just disregarded it." <laughs> <laughs> T, that's what T says. She's like, "Where are you going?" But like in context of like nigga, if you if you leave me, you going you hustling backwards mm-hmm. at it from anything beyond this point. Mm-hmm. I said if this ain't the realest nigga in it for real, like for I'm real, saying, man, for sure. Like, and it's and it's like I want I want that, you to be great. But, nigga, it's the wrong choice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I yeah, like I, I want you to be great, and this is the greatest option. For you. <laughs> right. <laughs> and <laughs> and I and this is quite, I'm I'm curious. Do women understand how much the player shit works on niggas too? Like when you just in your bag and you and you're ultra confident, you could say anything to a nigga and be like, "Damn, you you raw for real." That was all. Like I was so impressed when she said, like she said it with a straight face too. Like, ha, where you going? Like, <laughs> I was like, "Damn," I had to think about it. Like to the bathroom, <laughs> right? <laughs> Drank a lot of water today. Yeah, go collect. Go go for a walk. Go breathe, nigga. You'll be all right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like I think. I think women, when they, when a woman when a woman like gets into her like really settles into herself and her power and doesn't do the whole like there's some bitches out here that's performing like there's for show bitches being like I'm that bitch and you don't really feel that way about yourself you're insecure hmm. but once a woman really is like no nah, I know I'm that bitch because knowing you that bitch doesn't mean that there aren't other women who are also that bitch it just means you're able to recognize which other women are also that bitch and which ones aren't right so. <laughs> Knowing you that bitch, like, what? What? Game done. Like, <laughs> game the fuck up. Like, which which is fun. what works out the best for an alpha male. Hmm. 
yep. is you knowing who you are. Mm. Because mm-hmm. best believe you're going to get trampled being around alphas all day. Mm. You know what I mean? It's going to be a rough go for you. <laughs> no, I what's, don't know. What's the, but, but that, the, whole, the whole conversation around leadership, right? And mm. we often, you know, a group of niggas that sit around and have a, have a think tank in a, in a men's fellowship around leadership. And then women will have their version of it. But how often do those conversations, conversations overlap? And it's a, it's a mix of folks in the room so we can actually get to some solutions and some understandings for real. Um, B, you had, you had a real pivotal topic, I thought, um, Women, women don't let men lead anymore. Is the is the quote? I'm curious of where it came from, and then you know how do how do men define leading? Like yeah, so like I just I think in hearing like I hear a, a dualistic conversation. Like there are some men who are definitely having conversations around you know like partnership and all of this, and there's some men who are kind of like yeah like y'all. Y'all bitches just got too independent and all this shit. And like, you never let a nigga leave. I love them like, niggas. I love, <laughs> I love them niggas so for real. Hey, the, world, they, the, world the world needs them. The world needs them. Oh, man. And the crazy shit is, is like, there's this balance. So I've seen I've seen women that, that are like, <clears throat> very much like, hey, like, if you, what did Jill Scott say? She was like, if you can tell me what to do, you can tell me what you what to do. Facts. But if you can't tell me what to do, you, you can't, can't tell, tell me what to, what to it's, do. It's it's that simple. <laughs> That's why Jill Scott the realest nigga ever. Hey, for real. <laughs> yeah. That real. that one quote sums it all up. And if you if you need more clarification, go listen to who is Jill Scott. I'm telling you, it's not it's not a it's not a man more gamed up that had a single mama in ninety whatever the fuck mm. that was going through a divorce listening to Who Is Jill Scott and then Baduism. <laughs> like Who Is Jill Scott and Baduism were like on a loop. They were just one C D for a while. Baduism is rough, bro. Amazing. No mm-hmm. wonder she got niggas just on a finger. You see, bro. It, it's like, uh, it's all uh, it's bruh. sprinkled throughout that motherfucker. The ga- the game of it all is sprinkled throughout that. And that's but to I the, is the level I'm trying to get to. If you can tell, if you can tell me what you what to do, you can tell me what to do. It's mm-hmm. that simple, and it's a lot of people that's gonna complicate that, and it's gonna be a bunch of niggas walking around talking about y'all too independent. Like it's gonna be them. It's gonna be that, but it's as simple as if you could tell me what to do, you could tell me what to do. I've ne- I've never had that issue. But y'all too independent is a nuts. It's, phrase. A, it's crazy. Crazy. That's a nuts <laughs> phrase. But, but I just go like, I don't know this idea like. I don't need, I'm interested. One, do, when men think about like relationships and, and I guess we're specifically speaking in the romantic sense in this comment, but do they even think like, oh, I want to, I want to, I want to be the head of this. I want to be, I want to lead. And then I go, well, what does that mean? Mm. Because I think that used to mean a lot of things around financial provider, protector, and like, Financially speaking, I think the world is completely Ownership. shifted. So you got to rethink that shit. And, and so I go like, what is it? What does it even mean? Like, I want to I want to lead or I should I should lead or you don't allow me to lead. I'm like, what the fuck does that even mean? But the again, B, we're back at. You can tell me what to do if you could tell me what to do. If you at any point, if you have to say I want to lead, guess what? You're not. <laughs> If you gotta say it, my nigga, you 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 are out of this race. That mm. that shit that shit happens for a reason. My my high school coach was trying to hit me to that shit, and I just was too young to understand it. And then to be, I think I I had just turned eighteen when I got to to SOU. And after after you do your little conditioning, all the little shit where you don't like we're not touching the ball, not all the shit. They vote. They you have a vote on who's captain. Nigga, I, nigga, I'm 18. These grown niggas on my team. There's, there's no way they're voting me to be captain. I don't even know these niggas for real. Yeah. Bro, them votes came back. It was like the first time in school history we got a freshman as a captain. I was like, wait, what? And I called my mom because I, I was just like, yo, I made captain. That's what's up. But like, she was like, no, nigga, you made captain. That's crazy. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. I don't have any, I don't have any <laughs> what context. Is that? What is that? Because it wasn't. <laughs> It ain't, you'd like literally, like on God, you didn't. I didn't walk in there like I want to be the fucking captain. It just if the if the people determine who the who the nigga is, not yeah, you. And if you exactly. and if you and if at any point if you find yourself having to say it, guess what? You aren't. 
it's it make it. I don't know. Maybe I'm simplifying it too much, but I just it just it just makes I mean, sense and, to me. And that in, that in, that that's where the problem lies, and that's where Wale has this whole thing fucked up at. <laughs> 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 Like why, well, like you try to tell people who he is, and it's and like, it's like nigga, just be the nigga that just you, be the nigga, <laughs> just be that, just be the nigga. <laughs> and that's like, so I, I'm always careful about like the whole like alpha thing, but mm. <laughs> I, I kind of personally gravitate towards like a very like alpha type of male personality because, and I do it because I go like I don't necessarily know that if you're not this, you can handle me like mm. I, and not else I'm like you can't handle them but it's literally like I know how my mouth is like <laughs> I know how my thought process is I know I'm very pragmatic and very good shit like I know how I am so I know that if I will naturally take over something without even thinking about it hmm. unless like something doesn't need to be taken over and usually only someone who has like a very alpha energy has the space to where I go like, oh, I don't like they good. I don't need to take that over. Like mm. <laughs> they can handle that. And so I just think that to me, it's it's very few people I've met that I actually go. I feel like, OK, like I would trust I would trust some form of your leadership. Mm. And I mean, that is very few and far between in life most men i'll be like all right nigga like i'm gonna stroke your ego but bitch i'm not letting you make no decisions like <laughs> we lose Bro, that's beat. that's funny as hell to be but <laughs> oh she did. okay i was like i'm not gonna lie to you that's funny as hell to be huh what part how often women have to do that mm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, that's not like, that's throughout history that women have played that part. Mm. And, like, that's that's what's, like, fucked up the whole, um, I guess, society now is just that now they don't have to. You know what I mean? Like, now there there's an opening uh, for them to gain more uh, more of the pie, basically. Hmm. And that's mm -hmm. frustrating for, pe for, for men who have this thing grandfathered in. Right. It's very similar to, like, white the white male energy and, right. like, you know, them, that's the, know, the 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 race thing turning over that so and that's then becoming minority so like that's it's a, it's a similar she, deal i get i get frustrated at how delicate that conversation is and how few people can word it the way you just did because it's usually one or the other it's like oh black men out here with white man energy it's like all right fam is all right i feel you <laughs> but it's it's not that simple we have a conversation about it and when 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 black women voice their I don't know if it's it's, it's not quite disdain it's, it sounds more like hurt to me as to the inner the energy and the lack of protection and, and and support that that is offered in said spaces like this in and demanding of so much fam how you how how do you show up asking to be something you aren't you haven't yet proved or displayed and then expect this person to hold said grace in space for you, and then now it's static if it's not being met that way. It's mm -hmm. a, it's a, it's, it's so fucking strange. It's so strange. But it, it, the there, and there's so few people. I mean, there's not few. There's so many people attending, attempting to play, uh, voice of the culture or what have you, in uh, determining what's a high value man, what isn't. Uh, the Dion Brittany Renner conversation, PJ Watt, like it's all these different things that are that are being bottled up and masked as as the representation for 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 black uh, intimacy and and love and shit. And it's like, nah, dog, that that's, that that spectrum is so is so vast. It's not it's not just that, and it can't just be these people. And it's it's yes and. I uh, somebody just asked the other day. It was like with gangster rap, I was like, dog, that shit raised me. And I know hella bitches and hoes, but I also have know hella bitch ass niggas. So guess what? I'm not about to stop acting like ain't out here. Mm. <laughs> like, yes, and, but I also know some real ass, thorough ass women that are that are leading culture for real. Mm -hmm. But that, but also have have life partners that are men, that are men, female or other that they 
that they know how to show up for in that space and make them feel how they how they make them make them want to feel. It's oh, it's oh man, it's a it's. Yeah, I, I just think I just think you have to be worthy of whatever, whatever. that feel is. Come Ooh. on, you know Come what I'm saying? On. Like, if you if you're not worthy of it, <laughs> you ain't gonna get it, bro. Like, it's simple as that, bro. You ain't, <laughs> If you're not worthy, shouty. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the hard conversation to have with folks, but, mm. you know, it's it's unfortunate. Right. But Man. Right. Also, also, this is life, and right. we got to stop babying folks, mm. you know? Like, you got to get these hard truths, and then you do the proper work, and hopefully that's in your cards. If it's not, then, you know, you got to play the cards that was dealt for you. Mm. But, you Come know, on. You, can't be, you can't be out here just with the expectation deal, just, just all GP. Well, we do. There, there was a quote that said, "I have no problem submitting, but you got to be worthy of, of submission." Huh. And most, <laughs> I mean, I, you this, know? <laughs> it's a public, it's a public relationship deal. However, uh, so many conspiracies and shit are out about Molly and Jalen already, mm. and I'm just like. I don't want I don't cuz I I hell I hella fuck with Jalen Rose like I hella fuck with him so I don't want to do I don't want to be disrespectful in that regard. I'm gonna do it. Okay, go ahead. Do your, do, do your thing. Do your thing. Jesus. I'm sorry Jalen man, but I got to give you the title for it, man. You played yourself, my man. <laughs> you played yourself because ESPN is a giant locker room. Mm. You y'all Molly came through there mm. and you called dibs. Mm. And you went through the whole dib lifestyle and didn't know shit about the human being that you was dealing with until until you got three years into a marriage. Mm. So I just had to call it the way I see it. Ooh, I don't Ooh. know if that's the truth. I, I I'm not in the locker room. <laughs> that's what I. That's but what I, I, know, I know how locker rooms operate. <laughs> and that's one giant ass locker room. It's retired players mm. around beautiful women that they only hire beautiful women to do the to do the um, the mediator deal. Right. That's it. That's the right. only option they go with. It's a, it's like having Instagram in person. That's the only person they're gonna put in that situation. He going. He going there today. That's the only. That's Ooh. the only person they're gonna put in that situation. Not taken away from. And also, she's intelligent. So that it's just a it's just a plus. Right. It's just more work you have to put in. Of course, you know what I mean. It's yep. just you got to be beautiful and you have to be intelligent to do. You know what I mean to get right. into this space. Unfortunately, it's not for everybody. Right. But you know. That was part of it. He probably went for the submit. Thought it was a submission deal, and that's not the case. You got a you got a person that's in there that's just as ambitious. On this week's segment of you played yourself. <laughs> that's it. You played yourself, my man. You know, I, I I I went through. I won't say similar thoughts when I seen it, but I was like, damn, what does this what does this mean? Because it all it was all like granted discreet. And, and so forth, but it all just felt, I don't know, I don't know what it felt like, but it, it, it was, it was strange. And then watching, uh, all the, how it's being covered. And then, uh, you, I'm telling you, bro, YouTube is one of a kind. Did they, did they, did they put together a video or something? What? They got a whole clip of niggas flirting with Molly Damn. and Jalen being impressed. Like somebody made that within minutes of of the divorce being announced i was like hey. you know, Damn. i love creatives <laughs> they, they don't take they no gonna, time off they're gonna find a way they're gonna find a way um that's the cold part about the deal is that y'all you know separated for you know and to to still be able to work within the same industry oh it's gonna hurt because mm. she only gonna mess with you or above bro come on and it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt your soul. That next, that next person that's stuck in there. The neck, the next bro. Hey, mm. <laughs> J- hey, J- Jelly could put that. Uh, could put that that hair stuff on all he want. But I was okay. So L- he, L- he, he can get that artificial line all he want. You know how you got a, the one partner that's with the shit, and you like I ain't with the shit. But since he with the shit, you like ah, <laughs> all right, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I de- I'm definitely about that. So when. I seen it. That my thought immediately went to because they started reporting like they separated in January, and I was like, "Oh, pandemic, all the racial tension going on." I'm maybe Molly just had a take or an opinion on something socially active that was like, "Wait, who the fuck did I just marry, fam? Like, mm. what's going?" That's that's where I went right away because I've I, I know 
I, I lived in Portland. Portland and Seattle might be interracial couple capital of the fucking world. For sure. Um, Washington, the entire Washington. It's it's insane. Yeah. It's it's in the the number. I'm I would somebody should do the numbers for that shit up there. By the way, um, Google probably already has probably already has them right broken down. But there's a few. Are they still doing like the uh, the black white posts? <laughs> what wait <laughs> wait what <laughs> what is that? Like the black white uh, couple posts? No. Oh, okay. Oh shit. I'll, I'll just check. I'll just, I'll just wonder if that's still a thing that they still do it because they they were hyping that motherfucker big. Like they, oh, they're, they're, the, interracial, talk, the interracial oh, couples can't help oh, yeah, themselves. Yeah, they but can't try to get on the get on the front page. They can't help themselves. They yeah. always get on the front page, and then they never are ready for how that comment section is about to ruin their fucking life. Mm. Absolutely. And that's and that's where I went with Jalen and Molly. Was like, yo, what was said? What was done? Because ain't nothing like it's one thing to be an interracial capital interracial couple capital of the world and you don't get very many looks from black people as a whole going mm, mm, <laughs> mm. like and it's fu- it's it's all and it's only funny because you why you think it's only women that do it niggas be doing it too because mm. but it's theirs is totally for a different reason <laughs> but they they make the same expression and the same noise it is it's so funny because black people were the only ones that go by by cadence you can say and you can say the same thing. You can make the same noises, but it means something different. So a group of black women walking past an interracial couple going, mm, means something totally different than a group of niggas going, mm. Like, it's, it's just, it's different. It's, and if you know, you know. But I don't, you know, it's not my job to, to walk I you through it. I need to know what the niggas saying because... <laughs> A, I feel like niggas look at it through plus, the veins. Plus, plus, what? Uh, what? I, I see why you fucked with her. Exactly. And, and, <laughs> in the in the in the words of uh, Ludacris, plus I'm the new phenomenon. Like white women would ask, like, mm-hmm. who let him get that? I'm okay. This this is where we got to start. <laughs> Rappers don't have no friends. I'm sick of it. I'm so sick of it. Rap. I'm so sick of you rap niggas not having no Bro, friends. I for saw it. that. I was like, oh yeah, buddy, gotta get some off his chest. Rap <laughs> niggas don't have no friends. This is it's fucking heartbreaking, G. Mm. If y'all ever let me go outside and do anything, y'all don't have me out here looking like Travis. Mm. Don't have me out here looking like Drake. Don't have me out here sounding like Ross and Ludacris for the sake of conversation now. <laughs> but <laughs> damn, Luda caught us straight. Luda caught us straight. <laughs> like, yeah, Luda, Luda was not on the docket. Sorry, well, Luda. They you... got no name. You know what I'm saying? Damn. But who who we want to start with? Who 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 do y'all want to have it first? I mean, you might as well go with, go with Travis since that's the bigger bill. Jesus, are you kidding me? You're val- you're valued at this much. I'm so confused. That's that's why when I went on that little tangent, I was like, okay, maybe I need to leave this one alone because you're, you're, I don't I don't get it. You're valued at this much. The corporations and people around you stand to earn a ridiculous amount of money, so I get their push for you to do the interview. However, it's not a nigga in your camp. It's not a family member that loves you enough to go, hey fam, just get low. Mm. There's not an uncle that just slapped the shit out of you. Like, nigga, what you think you about to do? Rus- Russell Simmons <laughs> moved to another country, my nigga. Man, what? And ain't moved back. And ain't moved back. We ain't heard a word for Rus- Russell Simmons. Granted, not comparing the two things, but hey. Go. Go somewhere and shut the... F- it don't. It, you're not missing out on nothing. Not I promise thing. you. Not. Nope. But to sit up there... Not be able to formulate words. So now you're exposing yourself as, because we, we're already giving you like this artistic, like terrain and freedom and, and like shit that other people just wouldn't get for some of the nut shit you've said and done. Mm-hmm. But the music is so potent. We letting you live. Mm-hmm. You nobody, No one's fucking with Travis in terms of making music. So you're getting to live on that island alone because you're the best at that shit. But you didn't said you didn't said and done some wild shit where niggas should be like, mm, I don't know. But we letting you rock, cool. Now, when you should absolutely just shut the fuck up, not not because we don't know if you're smart or not, none of that, but it's it's litigation and like legal shit on the line. Please be quiet. Mm-hmm. Don't say anything. No one no one fucks you with you enough to tell you to shut up. On on God, bro. In the middle of it, I went. This is cr- more. This is a little bit more cringe worthy than the R. Kelly shit. Because at the very least, R. Kelly committed to being a fucking nut. 
Travis was trying to keep his composure and do the artsy fartsy shit. This looks crazy. Mm. This looks and feels crazy. Charlemagne, you're culpable too because this is a play for you. It's on your channel. What was the business that was discussed behind this? This is crazy. And then we just gonna let it rock. Right. And it's a whole it's a whole bunch of niggas you feeding, and no one steps up and goes, nah, bro, we, this ain't happening. I mean, but that that's really part of the problem with today is that folks feel the need to run their narrative so so bad, mm. like they want to change whatever the narrative is and be in control of their narrative so much that they end up overstepping it. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Like you don't need to <clears throat> jump out there before you're ready to. People like this, this, this society thing and like how quickly things move, it'll make you feel as if the world is burning and you need to get ahead of it and stuff like that. No, just sometimes the best angle is to shut the fuck up and they can say whatever the hell they want to say. Right. You got to know you. Yeah. So, so if you didn't know that, such, if you believe in your heart of hearts, you had no clue about any of this shit was going on, and I'm just trying to give the best, the best possible concert or whatever, and shit got out of hand and all that. Then let it be what it is. And let's and and let's call it that too, G. That's the other part too. I'm still not shooting. None of you grown ass people know Bill. That that's that's, that's, that's why that's trip, why you be quiet that because trip, at yeah. some point it's high, if you if you're quiet and you can't get to me about this at some point they got to point the finger somewhere they got they got and it's got to start getting back to the folks that was in the mid like actually was in the crowd doing the this actual shit. the actual sea of people that trampled on little little children and women to save themselves like stop stop play, stop playing with me bro let's stop. All you uh, live Live Nation, um, Live Nation, Houston PD, all all y'all stop stop playing with me, and trying to and trying to just pin this on me. But when then but then when I do an hour long conversation for yeah, somebody P to get PD, that, PDs are nasty. That shit that's disgusting. PDs are nasty. Stop so. playing. Y'all need everybody needs something to, someone to blame. So 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 Budweiser and. And uh, and every endorsement can pull out just to save themselves and who they want to stand next to. All y'all disgusting. Every single one of you. I'm just saying, folks is lucky because in the same position, my thought process is, I've made what I've made to this point. Right. And <laughs> my girl is worth the bill. I could sit down for I'll, two years for all. I I'll care. burn all this shit down. <laughs> <laughs> every and all y'all coming with me. I could sit down and for all, two and, years. And all y'all coming with me, bro. I would take my tribe elsewhere. Right. I'm still. I popular. think what I don't. Oh, go ahead. No, you got to be. I think you know, what I don't understand is just like we all see kind of the else point. Like we all see how quickly these media cycles go. Hmm. So like you're going to not be a topic of conversation within. I mean, I think seven days is a stretch of, but like seven days max, like or men, like I don't know, just. Some something new will pop up. So if you just kind of shut up, like the the focus will be on the next thing, you know. Like so, why would you? I don't necessarily understand the need to go in front of a camera to really say anything because I, I get you just the, keep quiet. It'll shift. The pressure I get. The Budweiser, and it was another bit really big endorsement that that uh, detached themselves from. Fuck them. They no no no, yeah. but but they but they announced it. There's Budweiser. What they, else is there? There's they, Miller Light. There's the, fucking Coachella. I'm, Shit, niggas. Oh, Coachella. It was Coachella. Anything? I mean, what Coachella. what other beer companies? Like was, I refuse. I refuse to have my feet to the fire. I G on on motherfuckers that kill people you, yearly. You're right. Come on. You're, you're you're right. We're right. But the way they were getting ready to roll it out, I completely see Travis's team going. Hey yo. We got to do something to get ahead of this, cause a a a, a Budweiser, Coachella, a just out of respect, Travis, we letting you know that we detaching ourselves from you. The press release happens this day. Oh, bet let's scramble. That's what that I promise y'all. That's how that phone. Oh, for sure, me. for sure. And that's and that's another problem too is that you can get so large that you become you become the enterprise. So now you have a, basically like a board of trustees right. that is out here making all these moves and then they're the ones like they're the ones that are making you know a hundred grand a year or whatever the fuck they're making right and they're like they filled the they filled the fire right you know what i'm saying so like they'll be the ones that living in these corporate worlds that got to deal with this shit day in and day out and right. they be so worried about 
how how much fire is there at the moment. Right. Bro, this shit goes. Right. It doesn't stick around. Right. People ain't got that type of they they don't have that type it's of wherewithal. The bandwidth for it. They don't have that type of wherewithal. Right. And we we get he he Travis okay? We flamed him enough? Can we move on or no? <laughs> Because the rest of because the these are the flame. That's fucked up. Because <laughs> the rest of these niggas are not exempt. No, there's more. Who's, who's next? <laughs> who, who are we going to next? I want to hear your Ross take. I was wondering what that one is. What you, you got? This hurts my heart. What you got? Y'all know how I feel about Ross. So this one is way more personal than any of them will be today. <laughs> I want to hear it. For 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 me. For me, for me, and as long as I've been here, like I can do when you know they do the favorite rapper shit. Yeah, you got You got to put the it's certain niggas you got to put in there for political sake, and then it's some current niggas that it's like, all right, but it's 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 a few niggas that I'm that's my nigga. Right, right, agree. Ross behind Hove, behind Wayne, it's probably him. If yeah, I'm being honest, Ross is on my real nigga list. If I'm be, if I'm being yeah. honest, that's what my list kind of look like. Ro and Rose's in there, right? Yeah. So okay, I can I can let Mastermind and a few of these other ones kind of slide because you know trying to figure shit out. You you try you at the very least you are trying shit. Richard and I ever been comes on, and I'm not mad. I'm not mad at it in the beginning. I'm okay. I'm here for it. But we listening to it low. It's kind of just setting the the ambiance, setting the scene, and then. I'm like fuck it, we in the we in the joint. Turn this shit up, man. Let me really talk to you, my nigga. Talking about. Mm. I start listening to the mix, and hey, subjective. All y'all can do that subjective, artsy fartsy shit. All y'all want, fam. This is Rose. We talking about. Mm-hmm. If any of you niggas in that room ever let my nigga sound like that again, I gotta see all y'all. Mm. That's crazy. This is Ross we talking about. Hmm. His thing is made, his whole career is built on being the best beat sound. picker yeah. and having the most mm-hmm. luxurious sound. Yes. And it sound like some niggas just went, here you go. <laughs> That's how you know he's richer than he ever did. Yeah, yeah, that, that fits the title. <laughs> that ain't, that ain't, I ain't even in the studio this, no it, more. It, it's, this ain't gonna cut it, champ. <laughs> and it sound crazy, because you not, don't go against a big bro on a, on your sh- no, fuck all that. Quality it's called quality control for a reason. Especially after how well Port of Miami too. Said. Come on, man, stop! Don't. What are you? What are you rushing for? You, you. Yeah, that Vegas joint is still my shit. Shh. That that beat is crazy. You're you. You're you, fam. You got you got new baby. You look good. You look great. <laughs> you look. You look amazing. Guess what has to match? And and, and that's what and that's what I, I was thinking about. Uh, we listened to Daytona again yesterday, and I was like, it it made me it made me laugh because people do this thing with Yay where they they'll talk about everything else but the music, and that batch of records, Tiana had her beef with it, but she's touring right now, so you ain't that mad, boo. You got you got you got you got a few joints to work and you got some moments out of that Nas niggas niggas was so mad at Ye they tried to act like that wasn't one of Nas's best showings that Ye gave him fuck out of here that album is amazing mm. Daytona is sort of Daytona almost won a Grammy mm. so stop at the Ye not gonna send you outside sounding crazy he, he he might do a lot but he not gonna send you outside sounding nuts nah. the music is always gonna be first. I get it. We, oh, I wish you were with me yesterday at the uh, at the Emerald Cup. Shout out to Soul Development for letting uh, letting me rock with them at the Emerald Cup. It was like a, it was some life changing shit. But their the Soul Development trailer was directly next to Corrupt, but it was Corrupt and Friends. So Capadonna and fucking. Uh, cannabis, the most random collection of people. <laughs> don't even look at me like that. Don't even, don't even. But it was amazing because we're not. We're obviously these are corrupt as te- tethered to death row. Snoop, Dog Pound, brands larger than life. Cap is attached to fucking Wu Tang, a brand larger than life. Cannabis is cannabis. However, 
the purgatory of this rap shit be having niggas fucked up because you, nigga, you cannabis. What the fuck are you supposed to do after you have a moment like that? Can- cannabis, we say what's up. Yo, can, yo, yo, nigga comes over and like a real nigga holds court. And this immediately goes in the fuck this rap shit, nigga. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm all ears. What we talking about? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Nigga. I, I don't want to. And he and what's fucked up is he told the story. And I feel like now if you're telling something that you may not want out, you at the very least have to assume one of these niggas has a podcast. At the very least. <laughs> in my mind, I was like, this nigga know one of us do a podcast or right. something. He, and he has to know I'm going to tell this story. But I'm like, ah, let me shoot my man some bail. I, without giving away all this shit, but it was the f- most funny shit in life. He's like, yeah, nigga. Like, nigga wanted to show love for real niggas would, you know, do certain shit. But luckily, I'm a real nigga and depend on that. Nigga, I got an HVAC company. Nigga, I'm up, nigga. AMG, all the shit, fat, how, all the crib. I ain't from no rap money, nigga. That's, nigga, that's businesses. Mo- multiple. Mm. I said, man, listen. You know, I, it just it, and that's the that's what I'm talking about. The the perk. So the richer than I ever been, shit. Like I get it. You got to do. You got however many joints. You got so many ventures and shit. But at the end of the day, dog, like, don't undermine the shit that got you here. Mm. And I get it. We we've made art so disposable. The way people consume it, you like. Why the fuck should I care? But I don't want to hear nothing. From that camp, Khaled, Rose, and friends, when niggas is not in the album of the year conversations, and Tyler is pulling up like, cause that nigga just care about the music still. When it's niggas that aren't getting any radio play, that's popping up on the conversations for album of the years and shit, and you going, man, that nigga ain't even do, yeah, cause they still give a fuck about the art for real. First, did you listen to friendship? <laughs> I watched. He was. I watched French on Selling Sunset. I did. I okay. did that. Okay. We show sure did that. Okay. I'm not listening to no French album. G. Got not it. in 2021. <laughs> I'm not at nigga. Unless we at the club, nigga. I'm not turning on no French Montana. Stop. Got it. Stop. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Rose, I love you though, man. I, I I I imagine that's gonna sound and look crazy and you gonna whatever. be mad at me though. Hit me. That French sound better than the Ross. The actual sound yeah. of the album. No, I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't fucking doubt it. But and you and you know the fr- and the French shit is also strange too because of Max and all that. But come on, man. How was it? How was French? It's French. <laughs> like I'm gonna say it's French, yeah. but I mean like. So, but it, but it's so honestly, how, so however long that is, it's it's you know yeah. I, I I don't have 45 minutes for that. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> but sonically, when he got, you he got hear a that jo- album, he got a couple joints that's gonna go. Yeah. He's always gonna have a couple that's gonna go. That's that's what that's where we would put some respect on French name. He always gonna keep French gonna keep a joint. That's what he good for. French gonna keep a joint. Rose Rose's name is synonymous with just being the best at curating sound, and nigga didn't they him him and whoever the fuck didn't achieve that. I know that's crazy to say. Who's next? Uh, who are, who am I missing? We missing somebody. It was a Drake on. Oh, nigga, he's the worst defender. <laughs> Save the worst for last. Save the worst for last. In in my segment of rap, niggas don't have friends. <laughs> well, we know Drake I, ain't got friends. There, there. Even though my bad. Even though uh, Drake has an amazing setup. So like. His home is like a museum, and he just sends women to the home. <laughs> That's fine. He ain't, got, he ain't got to be there. At, like he's never there. He should have. He should have let women one, at the home. He should have let one of them pick his fucking set list for this benefit concert. Thing. Okay. Okay. That if 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 he got if he got all the hoes at his house, I guarantee you they would have done a better job than whoever the fuck helped him with this. <laughs> Baby, you my everything. That one? <laughs> This nigga's crazy. <laughs> What's in the cup, man? He, 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 yeah, we it's not coffee. B. L has a cup, and he I thought it was coffee. Now, based off this nigga's energy, it, I'm certain it can't be coffee. He came out there with a football jersey. Hey. We this, know L don't drink coffee. We what What is name? <laughs> this is, this is name, name a bigger fail in 
rap history than that nigga's set list for that concert. We, what was the set list? Okay. That's uh, what, I was about to do that. Yeah, we can bring it Ooh. up. Please. Is it like... Hopefully he did Blim. That's my shit. No, nah, he he only it's did. It's not even, but it's it's layered because it's like it not only was your set list, but it was also how you like. Yay made you look crazy. Thank you, B. Honestly. Thank you, B. <laughs> also, that was Jay's. Like, thank you, B. That was Jay's. Honestly, payback? that man made like literally. I had people in our in our group chat, like people in our group chat, who when the whole CLB Donda thing came out, I was the only one being like. Are we, like musically, art wise, we're not gonna argue COB, right? Like I was the only one. Thank my you. Room. All of the every single person after that went, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I was a Yay fan last night, and I'm like, yeah, because what the fuck happened? Like nigga, why? Are, who, well, well, who can, didn't tell you what was going on? Well, can we get to <laughs> can we get to the next stage of this conversation where Drake may be the biggest artist of all time, but. He is terrible. Should we read it? You want to read it? 24, wants and needs, no friends in the industry, what's next, life is good, laugh now, (laughs) later, girls want girls, in the Bible, way too sexy, knife talk, God's plan. Oh, that's nasty. You're Drake. That's nasty. You're Drake, though. Is that when you have too many songs? You just don't know. You don't know them. No. 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 That's you don't have no. any friends. Damn. <laughs> and he's been told you he's never been embraced. So you know he's alone. Just that that made me sad though. He has way too many songs for that to be and the ones he chose. So okay, just for the sake of so I don't Monty don't sound like a complete lunatic. Let's put. Can we pull up Ye's just just for the just for? Well, we well we know Ye knows knows what he's doing. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, he's not gonna fumble these type of things. It sounded like one of them oh, really absolutely. wanted to free Larry Hoover. The other one was. <laughs> Everybody thought Kanye was forced to be there. I think the other thing was forced to be there. But we don't, we don't talk about that. Hey, <laughs> you, you might have, hey, you might have stumbled on something, my G. I mean, Drake is like, I'm from Canada. I don't even know who Larry Hoover is. <laughs> I was about to say that nigga don't even know who Larry Hoover is. <laughs> I know about this ginger ale. Okay, so here we, here we go. Kanye, Kanye's, Kanye's set list, Jesus Walks, All Falls Down, Gold Digger, oh, he went in. Touch the Sky, he went in. Stronger, oh. he went in. All the Lights, bro. Black Skin Hit, oh, he, he treated, like a, he treated like a versus. <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing with me. Oh, he treated like a versus. All Day, Mercy, Good Life, Flashing Lights, Say You Will, I Wonder, Find Your Love, Run Away, Can't Tell Me Nothing. Was get the fuck out of here, nigga. Was, was Drake physically there? Yeah. Oh yeah, he, I, I he mean, was rapping all Kanye I mean, songs. He might, or, he, or, or was fake Drake there? He might have a clone. I'm with you. <laughs> it might have been the other nigga. It might have been his uh, his uh, his Abby. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I think the only reason I don't think that is because I think the clone. I think Jay Prince got the clone, uh, and he's the one that sends the clone out. And Jay Prince it, like, nah, it. it needs to be the real you. Do y'all do y'all hear the difference in those set lists? That's nuts. You hear the difference in those? That's nuts. I, Drake don't I have no friends, it. man. Well, we know this. Nah. And it was like how they perform. I just was like, it felt like, you know, when like Kanye was talking about like on Drink Chance where he was just saying that this is like, we're doing professional rap shit at this point. Like right. we, we know what we're doing. Right. I feel like that nigga moved a chess piece and just completely said, nigga, game over. And Drake was like, oh, wait, what the fuck? Like, did I just get checkmate? Aw. Because <laughs> yeah. it just was too, like, I just was like, nigga, how did you come here like this? This set list, how you perform, like, all of it. I feel like somebody told you this shit was something different, and you got here, and it wasn't what you thought it was. I don't know. You just felt complete. For how the difference and how they how they handled that night. I was just like, what the fuck happened? Like, did you miss an email? Ma- mans didn't know? <laughs> <laughs> mans? Mans, <laughs> mans didn't know. Mans was unfamiliar? <laughs> Man, mans didn't understand the assignment. Didn't Poor baby. Assignment. Oh, Poor man, baby. Mans. <laughs> and that's Ye a, knew what the fuck he was doing. He that's was a like, bad things. <laughs> you want to play with me, but... uh. <laughs> 
That's crazy, and I think that's for sure. That's 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 uh that's because he's Canadian. Like I said, <laughs> Jay Prince probably I tried to explain to him yeah. who Larry Hoover was, and Drake was just sitting there like. Now I think I think also like Canadians don't really be knowing things like <laughs> like they, and and that's messed up to that say, but fucking, like they really just don't. That be is an things. awesome take. Canadians don't be knowing. They shit. don't like you know like things be things be pretty chill out there. You right. know what I mean? Like I, of course they got like crime and all that shit too. You know everybody has that, but for the most part, Canadians really just don't be knowing stuff. Right. They're not familiar. Should be should be sweet for the most part. Mm. What, what did Drake say? They be blim. They be bl- <laughs> blim for real. Y'all hella funny. Uh, um, the the I whole friends it. the whole friends conversation was just a real one to me because uh, we do a podcast and we talk and we say shit and I be sharing shit with y'all because y'all my people for real but I, you know some people we kind of know listen to the show or people you know for it, it we different variations are people that are here specifically for Lex are getting to know us but we don't quite know those folks and and vice versa um, but. The community that we are collectively building, you guys, is is so potent and so rich and has and holds so much value. Um, you could just share in a vulnerable moment because you're in a safe space, and then have a, a slew of people reach out to you, and not in a um, not in no condescending way or where you feel like your 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 manhood or anything is being challenged, but just in support or to go, hey man, you speaking about your episode uh, with anxiety uh, really helped me understand what I may be experiencing. And it was like, it was, it was powerful, but the, and so I wanted to send a shout out to our, 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 our meet the brave community for, 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 for starters. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. But I also wanted to say my auntie Carla is the realest nigga alive. <laughs> the L's L's mom sent me, I was I think I was having about to have another one is what is what the what was going on but it was it was it was our timing. G I was like this lady is incredible but it was like it was it wasn't it yeah it was it was what she was saying it, it was it was how she was saying it mm-hmm. it was a timing so I just wanted to like publicly acknowledge auntie and uh, and and everybody that taps in with the show and that that, that personally tapped in but auntie Carla come on man Come on, man. That's my yeah. name. If, That's, if anything, Moms has immaculate timing. You know what I mean? Like she's she's tapped in to the earth, so she's just familiar when shit takes place. You man. know, and she she knows what man. to say, when to say it, and just leave it there. Man. I, um, shout out to Black women, cause man, definitely that. Yes. And and, and <laughs> yes. to to that be, I'm on the phone with my mom, and she's like, Auntie too. She's like, yo. I gotta um, I gotta be, I'm, I gotta be in SAC at this thing at this time, and then, and and then in Vallejo for this thing at this time. And I was like, well, sounds like you can't do both. Mm. And I was like, and then I went, I went, wait a minute. I was like, wait, is this where I get this shit from? <laughs> trying, <laughs> trying to be ten places at once and saying yes to hella shit when it's just it's just totally okay that I can't be in two places at once. Mm-hmm. And we had we had a genuine laugh off that shit, <laughs> and then we, I get here today, and one of B's top topics is people pleasing is just a subtle form of manipulation, and I'm trying to remove all forms of mani- manipulation from my life. Mm. Talk and I, I don't be I don't know if you meant it this way, but how I took it is you were taking ownership for your part of the manipulating, right? Did I yes, read that? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I said that shit to somebody the other day and they just looked at me with the most blank stare, not as if they didn't agree. They just couldn't believe that that's the space that I was arriving in. Um, and my, I, my, my choice to people please has nothing to do with none of y'all. Mm. <laughs> just trying to make sure I get into heaven. <laughs> like, <laughs> and it's, and it's all out of scarcity too. I think yeah. that's the fucked up part yeah. is, is it's out of fear of losing folks. It's out of fear of losing things, losing opportunity, like losing your space in line. Like mm-hmm. if I don't overextend myself, man, they might not fuck with me this time. Like, so, mm. you know, um, that, I don't know. Be My bad is to, to step on you, but I, I just, when I seen it, I was like, God damn it. We pied in the day. <laughs> 
Yeah, somebody I was I was explaining to somebody that I was uh, stressed, and they were asking like why, and I was giving the whole whatever, and um, they were like, "So you're people pleasing?" Mm. And I was like, "Ugh," <laughs> because that's been something I've been very conscious of in the last year that I'm trying to be better at, and mm. there are moments where I just can't, like I don't, it doesn't come into my mind like, "Oh, you you are feeling guilt." because you're trying like you're people pleasing and so they had sent me this thing that was that basically said people pleasing is a subtle form of manipulation because you're trying to control someone else's view of you sheesh and i was like damn you right like and i'm like it's something i knew but it was like okay i needed to hear this in this moment to make certain decisions right that i knew people may or may not like but it didn't matter but I was really getting, I'm really getting into a place of um, just reshifting people's place in my life, Mm. whether that means completely taking them out or just shifting the proximity and the the inner circle. You know, sometimes you just kind of got to, got to (laughs) relook and shift around. Um, And I say shifting rather than cutting people off because I'm, I'm typically a very like, I'm going to just like cut you off type of person, but I'm trying to be able to say like, Hey, like, this is what my new boundaries are. And if you can agree that, you know, I got to shift you here and you cool with that, then like, we can have this conversation of this is now what our relationship is. But if you're not, if you're upset that, you know, you got shifted from a tier one to a tier four and that's a problem for you, then, you know, okay, I'm, I'm just going to have to be okay with that. And you're going to have to not like me or whatever that is and just let that shit ride. But my thing is, like, I'm really trying to get, up, get to a space where I can fully operate in my truth. I can fully operate in who I'm finding out who I am to be. So that means I don't want to have to lie to you. I don't want to have to manipulate you, whether that's like intentional or, or subtle or subconscious people pleasing to try to get you to be okay with me. I don't want to have to, I don't want you to have to lie to me. Like, I just want to be able to have the freedom to be in a space of, I can be completely who I am and everybody has to be okay with it. And I was thinking about um, a conversation I had with somebody where it was kind of just like, yeah, you kind of have to get shifted. And it was, and they kind of, it was more so in a sense of them starting with like, yeah, like I feel like you acting different, which is always funny for me when people say that. <laughs> but I just was kind of like, well, you know what? Like, let me at first acknowledge, like, I've been manipulating you. Hmm. And they were like, what? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, not intentionally, but like, me people pleasing is manipulating you. So I get why you think I should continue to show up this way. But me showing up this way is self-sabotage, and I'm not doing that anymore. So either you can agree to, like, how I can show up, or we just not going to fuck with each other like that. And this was a completely, like, platonic whatever. And they were, like, they kind of, like, didn't know what to say and was, like, well, let me kind of, like, sit with that for a little bit. And I was, like, cool. But, like, I'm not at a place anymore where I will – I don't want no – like form of manipulation around me and I don't want to have to manipulate you to be here and I don't want to feel like I'm I'm getting manipulated like I don't want that kind of energy around me and so I just think of like when I talk when I think about growth I cannot like I I think about it this way if I'm going to grow or evolve and be on a different frequency and you're on a and you're on a different frequency than I am like if I keep you around all I can ever do is either stay at my frequency and spend a bunch of energy making sure I don't drop down or I'm going to drop down to yours. Hmm. And if those are my two options, like I kind of don't want either one low key because I don't want to have to put a bunch of energy into not dropping down to your frequency because that energy could be put somewhere else. So you're just going to have to accept that like there is this distance between us or whatever. And yeah, I just was like, I don't, I don't want to have to manipulate nobody no more. I don't want to have to manipulate you. I don't want to have to be manipulated. I don't want no lying around me. Like, let's just, I want to operate in the fullest form of freedom because I feel like that's what love is. Damn. And I only want real love around me. Damn. You, um, you like trying to re- remove all forms of manipulation out of your life. Does it feel, does it feel like 
because maybe maybe it's not quite the same, but Lex has something similar where it's like, when do you know it's time to reinvent yourself? Um, mm-hmm. And I know I know oftentimes we kind of just like allocate that to like brands and artists and shit like that, but like on just on some personal shit, like it's time for a rebrand. Like you want to redecorate your room, you want to get a new comforter, you want to get some new nigga. I don't know, I don't know. Like some you just want <laughs> you want to you just want to switch some shit up though, but. Um, acquiring new tools uh form a discipline and like growing and learning that doesn't seem like it's always supported for adults but you what is what i used to think and then i started finding these these sort of sub pockets and subgroups of of adults that were working and testing new things and and asking questions and and uh and experimenting and and then kind of just leaning on the extracted data as opposed to having a preconceived this is what it is like the rigidity around just like oh this is what time it is like now nah, let's allow for a little discovery and what my and then you go and then to hear you go yo I've, i do feel like love is just just freedom for real B. I don't know, yeah right. oh. oh no I'm not <laughs> no um i i think that I mean, I think I'm kind of in a space now where I'm like constantly trying to like, I don't know if reinvent myself is the, is the way I would, I would personally phrase it, but I'm constantly trying to like settle into myself in some way. And I think it's just, that's a huge focus of my journey at the moment, Mm. but it's like, I'm trying to kind of figure out, like, I think to me, it's like, I want to be operating at my truest self, but I always have to ask, like, what is that? You know, like when people talk about showing up authentically, I think that that's not just being like, well, I'm gonna come here and say whatever the fuck I want to say. And did it. I'm like, no, showing up authentically is a dualistic thing. It's being able to show up as yourself, but also on the back end, doing the work to figure out who yourself is. Like both of those have to be active at the same time to like be authentic. And so I think I'm just at a space where I'm trying to fully navigate, like, I think the best thing I can do for myself and my, my journey is to be myself, but finding out who that is, is going to require some things. And that's kind of in the space where I'm at. It's like, maybe it's kind of reinventing to in a way, but it's more so that like, I just have to be okay that whatever, whatever shit I strip off of me, people can look at it as like oh you've changed but it's also it, to me i just go no i just am more myself and i just don't care how you feel about it necessarily <laughs> like i know that sounds fucked up but it's it's kind of not like it's just it is just if 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 how if me being more of myself offends you then we don't need to really be cool like that lex but what what uh sparked the reinvention question for you um I was having a conversation with somebody and they had asked me if I knew when it was like time for me to be like, "Eh, it's time for me to kind of change or Hmm. grow. Hmm. And then that's what sparked that question. And I guess reinvent was like the best catchy word I could choose to use in that question. Right. But you said you, you, you've spoke to that a few times and yours is pretty, pretty clear to you. Yeah. It was like a, either decision of having your know, family or not, like for like right. Is yeah, I remember that basically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then like even there's been this second jump where for me it was like when I first came out here, I was more focused on music and like making sure Jizzle shit go right than I was on any of my talents or skills or what I wanted to do creatively. Mm. And now I'm oh. in this place where. Now I'm figuring out how to balance both of them right. equally. Right. And still just give myself to see what I can do. Right. You're you're you've had a uh you've had a unique rebrand. You you rebrand. You you I put you up there with Joe. I put you up there with Joe. You're L, is 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 Joe Budden and is L. Wait, no. It's Lawrence, please. Lawrence. It's it's Joe Budden. Lawrence Garganius and fucking <laughs> Joe Rogan, dog. We've been watching. We've been uh, marathon. Shout out to Myron. We've been marathoning fucking um, Fear Factor. Mm. 
<laughs> we're not gonna let Joe just be Joe Rogan that he is now and act like that. Didn't got that happen. off back then. Yeah, he fully got that off, <laughs> and he was getting something stupid per episode for that. Oh uh, yeah, for sure, he was getting big bucks, <laughs> big bucks. Oh man, but yeah, I think uh, I think uh, once like once human beings like get in like get comfortable with the fact that you're more than likely going to have to do a reinvention at some point you might even have to do multiple uh but it's just a part of like the you know being comfortable with adaptation like just a, just mm. a, adapting to whatever or whatever point in life or whatever what you want out of life as well so if you're doing like these vision boards or you know that's kind of like the thing or whatever or just you know kind of forecasting the future You're right um and if you look if you do a, a deep dive or a true self-assessment of where you are today then what it is that you want tomorrow the person that you are today has no chance of obtaining mm. so if you look at it in the in the context of um what it will take to get to the point of what it is that you want then you have to start the process on that now and first things first is what B was talking about as far as like just being just becoming comfortable in being uncomfortable mm. and also challenging self mm. so once you're when you're challenging self you aren't really you don't have enough free space within you to then worry about another person and you have to go through that period and it's unfortunate you know because it's it's, it's going to hurt a lot of feelings mm -hmm. and you just have to i was thinking about this the other day um probably actually i was thinking about this yesterday when i was driving but um i was thinking about man like you know the amount of casualties that i had in the in the process of of my change mm. um people and, speaking about people yeah people yeah, yeah i'm thinking of people and like i was thinking specifically family members you know because i was like I, uh it's easy to go to like relationships and like chicks and shit but it's like it'd be fa it'd be family for real it'd be family because you have the you have the the strongest ties to family mm. um you know especially because you know they you started at a certain point of need and then now you're in a point of no longer needing no, no longer needing mm. uh now it's all like on your own accord what you would like to provide um and it, when you're going through some of these changes unfortunately you trim a lot of that excess you know the the attachment portion of things mm. you know and, it, and it's unfortunate but when you're when you're going through this you can't think about all the people that you're hurting in the in, during this because it's about your self growth mm. Mm -hmm. once you get to that once you've completed or you don't you never complete it but once you've you know gotten to a comfortable space within the uncomfort then the next thing is now doubling back i guess in um and just providing the self that you are now mm -hmm. to those that you know may have been hurt throughout whatever period of time and whatever time it takes on that it doesn't really that part doesn't really matter it's the point that you got to the point that you're supposed to get to. Now you can fully provide whatever it is from self. Right. You know, and I always think about it as um, y'all could have had me at y'all could have had the me that y'all wanted during whatever period of time that y'all didn't have me, but y'all wouldn't have me today. Mm. Mm. You know, so. Mm. you gotta have to Would think it about it cost? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it, come, it, it cost. comes that it, there's a cost involved right. so right. which one would you really rather have and if it was that you'd rather have the me of of, of before like throughout that time period mm -hmm. then you know i'm sorry i didn't provide that to you but i gotta keep it moving right right huh the which is kind of like similar to or leads into like what my last question was. I was going to ask B. That's thinking. where I was going. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, no. Do your thing. That's exactly what I was thinking. I was watching. I started watching True Story, hmm. um, which I was like, first of all, secondly, completely agree. This thing is doing a great job. 
of acting. Like right. I, this was not what I expected. I was like, oh, the writing on this is great. It's great. Um, also, shout out to them for like choosing a black girl that looked like a normal person and not like. <laughs> I was like, oh, like look at her. She looks like a normal sized human being, right? Like, <laughs> not some LA shit. But, anyways, um, obviously that relationship with his brother throughout all four episodes is just. It's, it's obviously highly problematic and but it's I think it's very true to a lot of people's experiences with family when they're reaching certain points and statuses and, and shifts in their life of like in a way almost like feeling like you have to bring people along or provide opportunities or all of these different things because I was just thinking about the space he was in between his brother and his manager mm. and his manager trying to be like, no, like I understand that you care about your brother, but this is really like fucking some shit up. Right. And then he's looking at it like, yes, I get that. But like white man, I don't think you understand the amount of opportunities we never have. So I was just trying to like shoot him opportunities, but then still in the facing of his brother, like, bro, you got me fucked up. <laughs> like, Why you keep, and it's just, I, I really landed on this idea of like, how do you tell people you love no, um, just like because that, you like realize that. <laughs> because you realize that they're not capable of the shit that they're asking. And mm. I also wanted the flip side of that too is like, how do you receive no when somebody is telling you you're not capable of this thing that I'm asking well, that you're asking? Oh <laughs> shit, you're getting it. Um, that's me, verbatim, like. In the midst of it, somebody will ask for for something. You go, well, you can't handle. Oh, this is uh, all right. Well, let's try it then. You know, st- <laughs> still at at the at 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 the cost of me, at the cost of my my name, my reputation, ability to deliver, quality control. I'm gonna keep saying that. Um, and then on the flip side, having some some real some real factors and in, in positions to help say no five years ago to certain things and now are like you ready and there's a part of me that wanted to take that personal because like oh now they back then they didn't want me now i'm hot like nigga you're not mike jones shut the fuck up like and it's and it's also not how that works because you just may have not been ready at that point and and it's okay. I was about to say, which is just fine. It's just fine. You just may not have been ready. And guess what? If that no would have deterred me and moved me off my square, guess what? I definitely wasn't ready and really didn't give a fuck that much mm-hmm. either. But they that's told fine. me no, and I found an alternate way. Now them niggas respect, and they're going, hey, bro, you you ready now? And that's interesting because that's how that story always goes. Mm. Like, to, to, like telling that story backwards mm. is always like somebody slighted me and now like i'm at this point because of that person slighted me and like you're giving them shit about the, the slight right and it was like no that's what unlocked it in you to do that shit. right like, right I, I, could, I couldn't confirm i couldn't confirm or deny the fact that you i didn't got to that point anyway yeah we had to figure it out you know what i'm saying like that's it but you know you should actually thank the folks that sli- that slighted you right you know what i mean and hopefully that's the that was maybe that was the point that you needed that, that maybe that was done you know the key right Lex, do you like? Do you? How do you feel? Because I, feel, I don't like. I don't want to speak for you, but like, are you okay with telling people like, no, um, you're not capable? Honestly, when I've became cool with it now, because mm. there okay. was a long time when all I did was say yes, and I didn't, and that sounded hella bad, but, right. <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> 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 Y'all so toxic. I'm hella toxic. Grow up. <laughs> but shout out to that one big one that made biscuits from scratch the next mm. morning. But that's hey, a whole nother oh, mm. <laughs> You put nigga mm, biscuits damn. from scratch, <laughs> nigga. You put that down, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. What? But um nah, you know, like, you know how hard it is to make some biscuits. Bruh, that's <laughs> what I'm trying to say. I woke up. <laughs> She was you like, put, "What you want? Jam, jelly, honey, syrup?" <laughs> and then, then don't say, "Bro, jam. don't tell me, don't jam. say jam, don't say jam after that." Because jam, your granny, lady, made I, lady, your I, granny, yeah. lady, I gotta go home. Okay? <laughs> jam, 
<laughs> if if it's jam on anything on my plate, I'm taking a morning nap. Like Ma'am. that's how it works. That's Ma'am. how it works. Ma'am, Ma'am, I got shit to do today. Ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> but um like especially when I first started doing the camera and like working with film, yeah. If anybody asked me to do anything, yes, 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 yes. yes. And I would be exhausted and right. burnt out. Right. And still saying yes. Right. But now I'm getting to this place where I understand just because I'm saying no, they understand that it's not any disrespect or anything like that. Right. It's just that I can't do that because I got a lot of shit going right. on and you ain't going to get the best service from me anyway. At, at all. At all. And I, that's that's what unlocked it for me was like, I was the, the scarcity thing saying yes because you're like, damn, maybe maybe they'll stop asking one day. Now everybody wanting, but it's like, nah, fam, it's not how that works. Output is very important. Quality is very important. And you see why, well, to your point, to the very specific point you may be of the true story reference, the, the manager is protecting the brand. Mm-hmm. He's going, hey, we got shit to do. We <laughs> The manager's worried about one thing. And that's the, that's, Outwardly, that's what should be happening. You're like, ah, I can't say yes to everything because to Lex's point, you're not going to get my best effort. It's going to be kind of fractured. And then now niggas can walk, run around and be like, man, Lex Bubble ain't really that tight. Mm-hmm. And you're like, wait, what? Like, and, and, that, and it only reflects on you. And the person you overextended for probably was just just doing something to be doing it anyway. And it's it's just a one-off for them. Yeah. We're playing. We're playing a much longer game if we're just talking about this. But even in the context of life and sustainability, nigga, that that whole metaphor for life for a hey, put your you got to put your face mask on before you help anyone on the plane because you you technically do run out of oxygen. Oxygen. That's what happens. And then add a little panic in there and a little hysteria and then like air pressure. Yeah, you could. You have no control over. You could say, oh, "I could put my put theirs on first and get back to me." No, that's not how that works. Did you get to that part of the book yet? When, when he had to talk with uh, Jada, Bruh. when it was in uh, first of all, I need to do better. What's up? Because <laughs> <laughs> he had a whole, B. I wish you could see his face just now. <laughs> I gotta do better, and I gotta really make this a priority because there isn't a wealthy person that has not talked about some form of therapy. Mm. and like consistent therapy mm. you know what i mean because the shit that we that we deal with in a day-to-day it's not meant for you to have to make every fucking decision <laughs> on your own you know what i'm saying and then like you can also have people that aren't qualified to receive some of the information that you're trying to give out sir, or also they sir, might they might be a piece sir. on the chessboard that you can't really tell them this sir. information mm. so you might well, as well relax. give it to a part my bad <laughs> you, you know? wildin'. yeah wait, wait a minute yeah it might be a piece on a chessboard. It might be a, it might be a piece on a chessboard that you can't give them the full thing, but you got to get the full shit out. Mm. So you just gonna be talking to yourself about all that information. <laughs> you gonna pass like you gonna pass ten parts of a story across ten different people. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pretty much. That's, exa- that's exactly what I'm. That's exactly what the fuck I'm gonna you do. You work this thought out around ten people. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what the fuck I would do. You can say, yep. <laughs> exactly. I'm glad Precisely. Because, honey, I'm like, people need to for real consider therapy. Mm. Like, for real, for real. And not even on no, like. No, don't preface know, it. Like, no, be stop. Stop. Don't preface it. We don't, okay. we don't. We don't preface none of this nut shit. It's nigga. It's niggas doing all kind of wild shit. We don't say, no, man, not even on. We just let that shit rock. Niggas is making. Rap videos still about killing other black. Fuck out of here. No, nigga, go get therapy. Sick of that for shit. That's real. For we, it's specifically related to success. Like, you're not going to have a successful life, whatever that success looks for you. Like, if, you're, if you are not successful with you, <laughs> you cannot be successful with anything you handle. Mm. So get successful with your fucking self first <laughs> so that the things you touch... Turn to gold, like yeah, and, it, and it's con- and it's touch, and it's constant fine tuning. Like you're not, you, it's not a completion. Right. You just constantly are putting, you know, you, you just you're constantly working on it. You know, you're putting more and more maintenance on it. Right. You know, because you go out there and you get you get beat the fuck up. Right. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So you got to make sure that all your parts 
are staying fine tuned. This is why you end up doing these type of things. You got to get that shit out so that you can let more in. It's the same thing with money management. Like you got to let you got to let money go out so that mm. you can get more coming in. That's how that shit work. You can't mm. hoard the shit. That's what they, it's not going to work out. Just like you can't hoard your thoughts. You're going to fucking die at fucking 40 years old trying mm-hmm. to hoard all your thoughts. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's important. Just get, get that shit out in the atmosphere. Mm. And the best thing to do is deal it, give it to somebody that legally can't share it. <laughs> can't share none of it. Legally. You know? <laughs> hey, scenario, you get a bag out of it. You know what I'm saying? You know? Um... With uh, what we got, B fifteen, um, yes. just try to do two, um, get to get to uh, Toxic Avengers, the Toxic Avengers, and then oh, um, L. Which what do you what, what was what's the most important <laughs> out of yours? I feel like the Christmas is just a funny thing to play off hmm? of, but uh, to, just trying to figure out what two if we got to pick out a two, uh, we're gonna do Lex's Avengers one and then one of yours before we go. Oh, gotcha. Uh, yeah, you can do that one. The Christmas one is cool. Mm. Okay, um, Lex, you said you you prepped the fan question. I don't even know what it how to <laughs> how to. I don't want no parts of that because I don't know what like nigga what. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, are we doing real nigga answers? Or are we being mindful that we have a podcast? Because it's it's different. I'm, I feel like people know that about me though, so that's okay. Like it's totally okay. I don't have to hide that, right? No. We're doing podcasts. Oh, okay. Mm. Got gotcha. As I'm winking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Got it. All right. Well, I, 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 can, I can do that. Disclaimer, this is a podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our answers are purely the, for entertainment. The, 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 the views on this podcast <laughs> cannot come back on any individual that's talking on this podcast. That's, that's talking on the show. <laughs> exactly. These are not meant to reflect oh. the views of the people who are talking right. on this podcast. <laughs> We speak for the we speak to the people for the people. You know, these are all thoughts that we believe others would have in the same circumstance. Right. Hypothetically, this is how we feel. Wait, so this, so somebody called me, mm. and they were like, <laughs> <laughs> and they said, "I got a question for the pod." These are the best disclaimers ever, bro. <laughs> somebody, somebody <laughs> called me and said, "I got a question for the pod." Mind you, this was this is a, a debate that they were having. Though, yes, into they, like like a like a like a holiday party or something. Yes. Okay. Okay. And it was a it big always, debate. It always happens that way. Jeez. And <laughs> they couldn't come up with no answer. To to a many question. Did they call us that, or you added that in there? No, they called us Damn. the four toxic <laughs> Avengers. <laughs> I'm not owning I'm that personally. I'll, I'm not owning that. I'll take the title. I'm not Hawkeye. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Hawkeye. Hey, for sure not Hawkeye, bro. Nah. Like somebody, hey, we gonna have to rock paper scissors for that. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's enough Avengers. Are there, about to say, is there other characters? Yeah, we. Yeah. <laughs> it's enough of them. <laughs> but the question was. Um, how right. long when dating somebody before you decide to fuck without the rubber? Hey, real nigga, you, you, about real, you niggas, real, stand, real nigga, stand up. <laughs> you want my real answer? That's what I'm saying. What are we doing today? What are we? Where are we going? We go. We want to go viral. Or we want to go home. What do we? What do we want to do? You want to go viral or go home? I feel like everybody knows hey, that's my what, answer. To this. That's going to be on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go viral? You want to go viral? You want to go? Home. Which which one? Hey, gonna take that PC shit home. <laughs> <laughs> what? Condoms? Where they they make? Never mind. Okay, hey. never mind. Somebody answer this question so we get the fuck out of here before I say something crazy. Shit. <laughs> Tell you the truth. I guess the real question is, when do you wear the condom? <laughs> right. <laughs> that's I mean, no. Okay, you a real nigga for real. That's what we need to be asking. Okay, I'm wilding. I'm wilding. No, no. Hey, <laughs> you're, not, <laughs> you're not wilding. I just, I'm just waiting. On <laughs> I, ain't no way. I'm getting. Ain't no way. Stuff. What? <laughs> you, you're not. You're not about to walk yourself out there. <laughs> I feel ain't like no. I do. Kind that's why I'm getting all these fucking votes. So what do y'all <laughs> no way, I'm getting in there. Nah, I mean, 
Now that's that's the fucked up part. Now I feel like, all right, fuck it. I feel like the way life has been set up. Mm. The <laughs> world don't want you to have no fun. <laughs> Hey, please, please are getting caught. They ain't copping them left, right. <laughs> no way. No way. Bro, no, you have never heard people use these many starters. Starter but phrases, but bro. But it's like, only because of y'all, though, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm damn near halfway through my thought that you want to laugh. <laughs> hey, who starts the sentence that way? The way like this set up. The way my life is set up. No, oh, God. I've, I I bullshit you not, and this is this is this is so this is why it's so many. In in my experience, the woman has taken it so personal when you when you hey I got I got to strap up. Like for real, like fuck we doing, fam? What this ain't how this work? I'm like uh wait huh? So, to your point, when do you put it on? Causes a whole nother co- group of conversations because now she associating her stuff. I'm, I said, boy, this is crazy. This is nuts. I already don't want this motherfucker. No way. I think I'm doing it right now. You Now I'm confused. What are we doing? <laughs> what is going on here? So I don't know if there's a duration, a period of time. I do want to endorse everybody go get tested, get checked. Do you like that is very important for sure. Um, mm-hmm. While we, we joking and shit, but real like real real life please go get tested um twice on sunday uh Mm -hmm. but yeah man condoms what (laughs) like (laughs) i don't even know where to start get them to get these the fuck out of here it's like how you put this on again (laughs) how this work yeah i mean i think it's good to have condoms (laughs) (laughs) you should probably you should probably you should probably purchase rubbers. <laughs> you should probably, <laughs> you know, and then just have and then just have them. You know what I mean? Sure, like, hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all, because because don't nobody want to get no real nigga answers. And then and then remember a time when you used to use them. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to get no real nigga answers. Yeah. So I'm All calling. Right. I'm All about right. to call. I'm about to call the realest nigga to end it. Because since y'all are playing, I'll, I mean, I'll give my answer. <laughs> you you waited too long. Now I had to call a real nigga in. Hold on. See how she answered the phone. You might not answer though. What time is it? Oh, they might still be in church. Is that? Oh, Hello? Grandma. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you on you on the podcast? Don't say nothing crazy. Oh, okay. So we having a conversation about uh, condoms. And about what? About condoms. Okay. And and Larry swear he swore up and down that you you bought his too. And I thought you just I'd only bought mine for my car. What you why you what you what you doing? I thought I was your favorite grandchild. Well, I thought it would be better if both of you had an idea. Grandma, stop playing. <laughs> stop playing. Hey, you, 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 you see where we get our words from, right? Right. You see how she cleaned it up? What? Have what an methods idea. To, what methods to you to <laughs> she can't even be serious. Older, he should have been the one to teach you, but since he didn't, I should have been the one to teach you. <laughs> Grandma, hey. Okay, I I didn't know what you was gonna say, but you are you are a true goat for that. That is hilarious. I'm still waiting on my story. I'm still waiting to hear about the birds and the bees. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I swear, him. nobody tell told me that story. That's a cold <laughs> game right skip, there. They skip right past that one. Yeah, the bee, the beehive. Uh, didn't make it due to a viral infection, <laughs> and the bird Ooh. flew away to the sunset and didn't come back. That's that's how the birds and the bees. That's went. how the birds and the bees that's go. A, that's the story. <laughs> <laughs> that's the story I'm sticking to. <laughs> GJ, we love you. I'm gonna call you when we finish here. Okay, so uh, you uh, guys uh, have a wonderful day and stay safe. Okay. All right, thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, bye bye. Stay, yeah. <laughs> stay safe. That's hella funny. See, see what I mean. Yeah. See what I mean. <laughs> To hear it on this end. Wow. <laughs> it's, oh, it really did sound crazy, huh? Hey, Grandma. Hey, Grandma, by the way. What? <laughs> <laughs> y'all was raised by the realest of niggas. I so, just, shout out to all the women that raised y'all. For sure. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> the realest. Do, do niggas get some bail now? Y'all heard, y'all heard her answer, but you heard how she started her answer, though. 
So do niggas get some bail now at this point? Uh, the see, way the way my life is set up. You see you see how Jada came up with entanglement? Right. You see you see the words grandma just used? It's very specific. <laughs> you are not gonna incriminate Gigi. She know and his phone might be tapped. First you of know. all, she was like, "Oh, the, praise, oh we on the pod. Yeah, let, praise Jesus. Let, 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 me, let me lead with Christ. <laughs> praise Jesus." As I sip this communion wine, <laughs> it ain't even first Sunday. What's going on? <laughs> they not even doing communion. You know what I'm so yeah, nobody. Um, okay, I was about to say. <laughs> okay, I'll answer. I'll answer. I'll answer. Um, I don't think that. Oh, for myself. I'm not fucking nobody that I don't trust mm. where I'm at. So, Pe- oh, period. Yes. Got it. Got it. So, like, I'm not at a point in my life where I'm just fucking to fuck. Like, right. who, like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care that much about fucking just to be fucking, just to be having a, a whatever. Like, it, it, that shit needs to be a vibe. Right. And so, to me, I, I just, it's very clearly answered is rarely, if ever. <laughs> But real my nigga, thing is, real nigga shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But my thing is, I'm not even getting to that point with you if I haven't established that this is going to be a safe interaction. Mm. And it's not out of no like being politically correct shit. It's literally out of for me to do my best work. <laughs> Like, <laughs> you I are the most be, toxic fam stop playing i need to be confident i need to be confident in the and confidence is going to yield the best results i ain't trying to be no fucking pillow princess out here like i want to have a good time so my thing is to cultivate that inner environment like i need to feel like i trust what the fuck is going on and to me trust isn't a like I trust that, like, you know, you not doing some other shit is we can we got to the point of we adult two adults had a conversation right about what the fuck they got going on right what and I I personally prefer to only have one sexual partner at a time just because my beliefs around <clears throat> energy and all that other shit but like we should be able to get to a point where I I can fathom whether or not hey when this adult conversation happens are you gonna be forthright and honest Honest. i have not been right every time i have not been right every time but that in my that's how i would like to approach it is by the time we get to having this conversation i can trust that you're going to have this conversation honestly with me and we can figure that out from there and stop leaving that telling me that you know maybe if you fucking other people whatever i'm not going to be down like whatever like don't manipulate don't don't put people in a situation where they're not able to make an educated decision about their body. Right. Like that's crazy to me. Right. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, once we've reached that point of having a conversation and deciding what we are doing, okay, well then I should like, I don't want to, I don't want to feel like I I'm having, if I feel like I'm having sex with somebody where I gotta be like, no, that nigga for sure got to wear a condom. Like, I don't know that I should really just be there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, Cause I don't feel like I'm going to feel my safest self to have a very good experience. And also that shit don't feel good. And they smell weird. Yeah. <laughs> that was something I learned. Cause I just, I ain't had a lot of, a whole lot of condom experiences in life. And when I did, I was like, why do they smell funny? But <laughs> <laughs> also go, you should be able, the same thing as a man, like you should be able to trust that, I'm doing what I'm saying that I'm doing. I'm also on whatever level of birth control that I'm saying I'm on. I'm I got to trust that you should be able to trust that I'm the bitch that's responsible enough to take pill, like whatever that shit is, because then you just need to be confident as well. Like, I don't know. Like, and I'm also not at a place in life where I'm just fucking with niggas that give dick to anybody. Like, boo, yeah. boring. Like, <laughs> And the worst thing to try to do is try to bust a nut wearing a condom, and you God, don't. Trust God bless, God bless the nigga that can. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. That and you don't trust the female because the whole time you worrying if the condom might break. Nigga, then, you, <laughs> nigga, I didn't, I didn't went to the bathroom and stuffed them in my sock. This coming home with me. I don't trust nobody. <laughs> you kidding me, nigga? And, and forgot, got home, take a shower. I was like, what is? Ah, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Completely forgot, nigga. Didn't walk, went around a whole day with a condom in your sock because you didn't want to leave it at the bitch house. Nigga That's had, crazy. Nigga had a slushy foot. <laughs> 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 you take the shoe off and hell the crest fall out. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh, that is funny. <laughs> That is hilarious. Nope, not gonna get me. Won't be me, goddamn. I'm not on duty. Not on. Not I mean, be, that, be. I'm like, do y'all feel confident? Like, I, I don't know. I mean, y'all aren't women. I'm just like, I would love to know from women. Like, do you feel your most confident self with somebody that you're requiring protection from? I think it's and, a, that's the trust part you're talking about, B. Like, I don't know. I don't. To to your point, like. And I get it. I do. I do understand the stigma, of niggas. Like you just fuck anything. I, how, however, the fuck that has not been my case. Um, and then also too is something that is such like the biggest turn off is is when a woman doesn't feel safe. I have no, I have zero desire to do any fucking thing if you if you're not in the, if it if the if the vibe don't feel safe, and that mm-hmm. usually entails. Uh, uh, An, an uncomfortable conversation. At least the first few times it was uncomfortable. But again, I'll, I'll, I'll tell anybody the perks of, of, of getting you an OG, like yes, someone who is confident in herself and is going to press you and step to you the way you're supposed to be stepped to, and then you just get, you get in the, the habit of it, so then it's not weird. And then you also figure out a way to have those conversations with your contemporaries and people who might be a little closer in age. But uh, my, <coughs> shout, out, shout out my OGs for just being... Being the being being the one, like hey fam, you, when when you last time you got tested for real, when, mm-hmm. let me see them shit. Send me them, like wait wait what's what's going on, and being like because it was the first time somebody stepped to me like that, being a little bit thrown off, but then going like that's exactly why I fuck with you. This is that that was awesome. Like that was really cool, and it's it's crazy the 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 effect it has. You like that was you my nigg for real. Yeah. Like you know you you're worried. Like I ain't asking for. For just me, just for you, like just come for on, both of us. Just for both of us. <laughs> Can we all be? I just, I mean, my, I don't want my pH off. Is what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I, just, like, I got things to worry about. I got shit to do tomorrow. To like, also, I just the bird, that bird, the birds and the the birds and the bees conversation still being the birds and the bees and not a not a pH conversation is the nut part though. Like, I'm see- can we? Can women we get- really have to learn that? Like, because I think that. You know, obviously there's sexually transmitted diseases that can affect both men and women, but right. there's so much more stuff that can happen to a woman. Like, right. there's so much more, like, there's feminine tearing. There's, like, right. and and there's, like, obviously, you know, any level of STDs or STIs. There's right. throwing off a pH. But you're the one who can get pregnant. Like, right. there's so many things that you, as a woman, you have to consider. So for me, and I don't, I don't shame nobody doing whatever the fuck they want to do. But for me, I go... If I have to care about all of that shit, I'm not about to just be fucking anybody. Like, mm-hmm. but that's just me. I, I don't care to have that relationship with, with, with somebody. Like, that is just to a point where it's just like, oh, you know, if for me, I just go, if I'm not, if I'm not mentally stimulated by you, mm-hmm. like, I'm not even considering pop busting it open. Like, I was about to say popping the pussy. That's, that's all too much, too much. <laughs> Trust your instincts. Trust see, your see, instincts. See, <laughs> it's all about instincts. This show when we say <laughs> pussy popping. But I'm hey, not. Shout out to BT yeah, Uncut. What? That was my joke. Is this For a sure. vibe or not? Long live BT Uncut. Long live. Long live. Long live. Yeah, that's all it is. I mean, I think at this point though, it's more so like Beavis talk about it. You ain't really fucking nobody that you ain't. You know. Yeah, the interest ain't like that, you know. What I'm saying like there's a there's a different type of connection or whatever. Right. So, and at this point, I'm like, bro, like if you ain't if you ain't willing to take like some of the some of the responsibility up on this one, then you probably shouldn't be doing it. Man, that was that's real, and that's the other part too. Niggas don't talk about is like to your point. Do you not feel mo- your most confident? I know at the very least. This bad bitch is not gonna have me not be able to pull out because uh, this condom, this condom is gonna serve as a protect. Like, all right, man, I'm I'm here, but it's just it's just some you look at you be like, oh, I'm not pulling out. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. Um, <laughs> That's why you got that conversation. <laughs> What's in your purse? <laughs> There's absolutely no fucking way. That is hilarious. I fuck with y'all, the Toxic Avengers. No, no. <laughs> I, don't, Yo, I don't appreciate that this is the only space in my life I can get caught toxic. 
It's all good. It's just it's just so, showing how you know how diverse you are. Team team <laughs> team was really hot this morning. She gonna say you and your little toxic friends. And I'm, mad, I'm mad at all. I'm mad at all y'all. And, and 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 you giving me side bitch energy right now. I said, wait a minute. What's what, what's happening? <laughs> what is side bitch energy? <laughs> it's like that's crazy. Damn. Wait, what was the reference for the side bitch energy? Thing? Cause of cause of the uh, not being able to be on the pod. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, I was like, wait, uh, I'm so confused right now. This is this does not feel like a joke no more. I'm getting off the phone. <laughs> well, you are in New York though. So. <laughs> hey, you know, I, I think the pie might need to sit down and do like a like a Gail King interview about this toxic, this, this toxic right, type. Dude, right. You know what I mean? We got we got to clear our names. Get the narrative. Get the narrative right. I don't know how to hog tie I mean, people. <laughs> is it is it toxic or is it honest? Is what I always love to ask. Oh yeah, I mean it's it's a blurred line. Is it line. toxic or is it honest? Be you potting today? It's a blurred just, line. Yeah. Not just today. Me and Lex was talking about it. You uh, you're on the run of all runs, B. What I do? <laughs> you just be you just be going great. You just be great. great. That's it. You oh, trying to get you. Here? A compliment. Uh, thank you. I, I, I was like, what, what? What I do? I, I want. I want the win. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, y'all, y'all do Christmas for real? <laughs> <laughs> I promise this is going somewhere. Body, I prom- yo. Okay. I promise this is I'm, going I'm somewhere. Glad, I'm glad. <laughs> cause that, no. that was a cold beer. <laughs> no, cause I, I get I get a lot of shit about not fucking with Christmas, and I'm like I it's, I don't not fuck with Christmas. I just don't fuck with Christmas. Mm. That's weird. You fuck with Christmas, but not fuck with Christmas. No, I don't. I, I I don't fuck with Christmas, but I don't I don't hate on anyone who does fuck with Christmas. More power to you, like. Like if you fuck with it, like it's your thing. That's what's up. But I just don't personally fuck with Christmas. I get what you're saying. Nah, not rolling. Nah, I get what you're saying because it's like I'm not too big on Christmas. Yeah. But Sid fucks with it, so. That um, no, I'm 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 definitely not talking about no kids. Like yeah. kids fucking with Christmas makes sense. So I'm then, talking about grown ass people. So fucking with Christmas. since. So that makes me. By adjacent, I gotta fuck with Christmas. I can't. I'm not gonna be sitting nah, in the corner. nigga. That's your Sid is no. That's the that no. I. But you mean if there was no Sid, would I still have the Christmas tree up and shit? Yeah. No. Okay. Mm-mm. You get a you get a real tree, or you got the one that you nah, grab out the attic. I get a fake tree. I ain't buying no real tree every year. <laughs> would you, you, you spray the pine around the spot? Nope. No, don't even do that. <laughs> this, the car freshener. Just put it in the middle of the fake tree. It works. Every time. <laughs> it works. Yeah, put the little tree thing in there. The little tree. The little tree. But do pine. I want my house smell like pine? No. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck with Christmas? Black parents be hella funny to me. What the fuck I look like buying a Christmas tree every fucking year? <laughs> <laughs> them, shits, them shits get more expensive every year. Be you fuck with Christmas? Um, yes and no. See? Real nigga answer. Yeah. No. Nah. It's but like yeah. a, but it's, I mean, my family is still very religious, so, and there's no grandkids in my immediate family. So I'm the youngest, but none of my siblings and myself have children. So Christmas is, and my mom is someone who like, you know, was born to fucking mom everything in the world. So huh. like she wants, Chris, she wants grandkids so bad. So my mom still buys us Christmas presents. Like she still asks us to send her a Christmas list every year. And she like wants to count to make sure everyone has the same amount of gifts under the tree. And we all have to come together and put the tree together and like all of that shit. So that's my guess is like, I'm, I'm going to make you happy and we're going to do all that shit. But like, do I actually like give a fuck about Christmas? No. The first, this is the first time in the last couple of years that we've gotten them to do every other year. Uh-huh. So every other year we'll, it's like let's not do no gifts and let's go somewhere. Right. With my immediate family, but this is a this is a year where it's a, it's not that. <laughs> so I gotta buy all these fucking presents. But um, yeah. So like I don't really give a fuck personally about any of the supposed meaning, whether pagan or religious. But it's whatever. I mean, Christmas lights do slap though if you do them right. Like I don't want to do them, but I want to go see them. Like if y'all like some of the really really amazing 
houses that like put up their lights and have music going to it and all that shit. Like I'm like, that's kind of cool to watch. I was driving around the other day and saw like a a cold ass setup, and I was like, ah, I wonder if they kept it up the entire time. So or I'm like, I'm thinking one year to then put it up and take it down. Yeah, like it it was cold because they um no they had this like. They had this like nine foot uh, skeleton, but it was mm. dressed up in the um, in the like just, the sand outfit. Yeah. Oh, so and I'm like, did they have that since Halloween? It just made it through the season. So I'm like, that's shit. Oh, that's smart. That's a cold idea, right just there. You just keep skeleton. dressing up this big ass skeleton. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's type of shit. <laughs> Niggas nigga try to look at efficiency. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, I thought the whole holiday season with that jump. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out the like, I, cause like to that's so what B just described is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, teen love Christmas, and I'm like, I don't fuck with Christmas at all. But I, you, who wants to be the Grinch nigga around? Exactly. Like that's that's not fun for anyone. So I'm trying to come around y'all. I promise. However. When them niggas burned that Christmas tree down in Jack London, bro, that might that might have been the funniest thing to hit the news, bro. G, I, I'm like, okay, bro. Can we talk about that? Because when I saw that pop up in the the group chat, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. It's that's got to be the funniest shit that didn't hit the news, man. It, it's it was just the it's like, come on, fam, like. It's niggas, it, we've been in a pandemic last few years. That's what I'm y'all saying. Y'all celebrating Christmas in the August. middle of Oakland. Y'all put. Y'all put a big ass, like in the heart of Oakland, y'all put a big ass tree, my like, lady? Like it's Times Square. Ain't no, first of all, no one's going to Jack, not not to, not how hot it is in the city right now. Fuck no. Like the, the last thing you want to do is be caught out with some shopping bags out this motherfucker for Bro, real. Bro, if fuck your couch was a person. <laughs> <laughs> the tree. The fucking tree, the bro. Tree. The fucking tree. The tree. And had the nerve to decorate it. Burn this motherfucker down. That's, is it, it the same place that they always put that big ass tree every year? I didn't ever knew they put a big ass tree. Nah, in Oakland. I, nah, they, 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 yeah, yeah, that's yeah they've all, they've always, they always had the tree. Family. I'm just saying, read the room. That's all. <laughs> so, but it is that tree, like that. Yeah, tree. no, it's yeah, it's that one. Cats out here doing oh. full full blown home invasion, home, home, full home B and E's, and y'all put them up fucking, <laughs> y'all put them up, y'all, y'all putting up trees. So y'all got time to go decorate outside, and niggas is out here getting niggas getting their tree taken from inside their home right now. Okay, just okay, just saying. All right, well shit. That's crazy. Just saying. Oh, let's uh, man. They really some Grinches. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga oh. said that nigga L said big Grinch energy. I big said, Grinch energy. <laughs> I was on my phone. I was like, this is funny. That's actually pretty funny. Because I had the same I had the same reaction when I seen the headline because it popped up on my Twitter and I was like, Well yeah, nigga, what'd you expect? You lucky it wasn't me out there. Like at this point, you see yeah, what, I mean, I, she was going I on. I mean, at this point, nigga, was it a collective effort, bro? Like the whole city came together and was like, bro, everybody can't put your lights up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's for sure what happened. Everybody walking, holding torches. You're a mean one, What's up? We <laughs> Mr. <doing? laughs> Grinch. We got uh, you gotta have you gotta have even numbers to do Secret Santa, right? Right. I no. think so. Yeah, because somebody gonna no, be left don't. out if it's yeah. odd, right? Yeah. No, you just what? No, you don't. If there was three people, if it was you, Lex. Oh yeah, that's oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like hey. So- Brittany, don't don't ever in your life, don't ever in your life sound so frustrated though. That's fucked up. She's she like, was she was about to end our friendship right now. She's, she's like, nigga, like, I'm the queen of the secret set of shit. <laughs> no, you said, don't. Nigga, and we over here like, well, we just said no, no. <laughs> <laughs> she like, when the present get bought, I want in. <laughs> what's up, y'all? What's up, uh, uh, Pod Secret Santa on air? What y'all trying to do? I'm just buying some weed, and y'all, whoever do hey, want. I, I didn't. <laughs> hey, I didn't say. I definitely was getting one of y'all some mushrooms. So that's, that's not how Secret Santa works, guys <laughs> and gals. You don't tell us what the gift is beforehand, okay? <laughs> I was like, I don't want to play with any of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want All that y'all shit. Do is a bunch of fucking drugs. So, so y'all can exchange with each other, goddammit, because we'll I don't fi- want that shit. <laughs> we'll figure it out on air, but uh, uh. Can we can we announce that you bringing your ass home or no? I guess. <laughs> Thank you. I will be I will be back home 
starting this Thursday. So it's you will lit. Play it. You the, will see me in studio next Sunday. It's oh, lit. The pie about to be crazy. Cause BB, she be getting to get her toxic shit off. Cause she kind of like mysterious. Like she's 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 the she nigga. It's Alexa. She just pop in and say her shit and get, and get low. But now she got She got to stand behind all that toxic shit. She be saying, "Let's go." Say that with your chest. <laughs> I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> she's coming like Congress. precious. Uh, uh, no, pr- uh, precious when she did her stand up. That's hella funny. Right. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get you out of here, B. Uh, gang, gang, gang. All the fam. Uh, wishing you guys the best. Uh, just the best week and the best effort, best foot forward. Know it's a lot of shit going on. Um, supposed to be holiday full flow, joyous, but ain't the type of time for everybody. is is crazy outside. L.A. is fucking, feels like it's burning right now. Atlanta is crazy. Uh, Memphis is crazy. The Bay is crazy. Um, so... Keep your head on the swivel, stay prayed up, moving in faith, but at the same time, stay dangerous. Um, uh, that means no condoms, people. That's exactly. That's exactly. <laughs> see specifically. See, see you pick. You under Lex get me. He knew what I was saying. Stay LA is up, LA is burning no right condoms. now. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Um, with that being said, it's been another episode of the Meet the Brave podcast, and we will see y'all next week. Love, love. Yes. We out.